Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a uh, part two of my trip to Jordan. Um, I'm going to apologise again because I've still got a crackly voice. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, I had done on last Thursday, so before my last video, I had done a like a lateral flow test, and it was negative. And then it was positive on the Sunday, so I had to stay off work. And it was still positive on the Tuesday, so I got my PCR on the Tuesday, and then that came back negative. Um, but I'm still choked, so I, I don't I don't know what it is, but I hope it's going to clear up soon because that's like a week over a week I've had a crackly voice now. Um, <clears throat> so apologies for that. You probably keep wondering why I keep moving around. I don't really have a desk to sit at, so. Depending on um, where Craig's sitting, I'm just finding somewhere that's like suitable um, and depending on where the lighting is. So I need to invest in like a light ring or something so I can get good lighting everywhere um, because the lighting at the moment is a bit, um, where I was sitting to start off with was a bit dodgy. But it's fine here, so it's good. Um, so before we start, I just want to show, because I can't believe I forgot to show it in my last video, another thing that we bought when we were in Madaba, um, the city of mosaics. Of course, we bought a mosaic. Now, it's super nice. I'll do a close-up of it. Um, and, yeah, it was, it's, it's really nice. And the actual sell of it was too funny. The woman um, was literally launching mosaics all over the place like she was just dropping them on the floor like would you like the old style or the new style this, like this is um this is this is old style this one um and she was like yes these are much better i mean i would say we had to get styles anyway but i i do i like the old style better than the new style but um she was like yeah they're they're more durable just like threw it on the floor and i was like okay um and then she was getting water and like pouring water all over it saying like look on on the old style it just like runs off but on the new style it'll eventually like sink in me and craig were like okay like what the hell is going on right now this lassie's just chucking things on the floor she's drenching it in water like what the hell <laughs> uh, it was too funny the, women, uh, the people that worked there were really really nice um but yeah it was it was an experience but i can't believe i've got to show that um it's because that's actually displayed obviously we're looking my gel is in lassie all the time but yeah I, I forgot to show this, so yeah, that's uh, that was another thing that we bought there. Anyway, so at the I finished the last video um, when we arrived at the Pequartro Hotel in, um, like the hotel we were staying at, staying at to visit uh, Petra. Not our tour guide in Petra, like, but our tour guide like throughout the whole trip. Mahmoud, um, he told us like. Like a lot of people might only do the tour, like the tour itself was two hours, but you can stay like as long as you want. He was like, people tend to stay maybe like four to six hours, like that's a good time. Me and Craig spent eight hours there, like the full day, and we still didn't see everything. Like you could easily just break that down and go like for a couple of days in a row to really see see everything because there's so many walkways like to do there's so many different trails like there's so much like like I don't know if everyone's the same but like when I think of Petra I just think of like the treasury like I didn't really think there was anything else there again we didn't look into anything I just really wanted to take everything as it came um but since it was like a pre book tour like the whole itinerary was planned out we didn't need to we didn't need to plan anything so like I, like obviously if you were just one yourself you would need to look into things and plan but it was a set it was a set tour so like we couldn't we just left it as a surprise and I honestly I think that was the best thing because I was just like oh my god like there is so much to do here like it was it was unreal uh with our tour guide we just walked the main trail so from the visitor center we went down um right through yeah the, we've done the whole main trail so we've obviously stopped at the treasury and down into the, like um like what would have been the city as well so we stopped obviously at loads of different places and um spoke through everything so like um it was like old pipes um like clay pipes in the 
roles that she sees, kind of like I said about like that being like their old piping system. And um, there's a lot of carvings that uh, they used to go pray to, and um, it's all before like they like personify gods. So like some of them are just they're just squares, um, and that's all it is. It's just like a shape, um, and then you see like as it's developing, like starts off like there's another one. It's like um, it's like a rectangle and then it's got like squares for eyes so again like they were starting to trying to create it as like an actual person but like it still wasn't quite there yet um, and um, yes yeah, so there's loads of carvings in the walls and everything which is really cool it's really interesting we obviously got to the treasury we spent um, quite a bit of time there um, ourselves taking photos just like appreciating it um, and it was really quiet when we first got there uh, which was good to get busier as it was coming up to us to continue the rest of the main trail um but yeah it was it was really good um you'll see the difference as well like so as i said it was two hours he took us um, and we finished off the main trail and then me and craig went off and did our own thing um but when we once me and craig had been away we done on a couple of different trails and you have to walk past the treasury again like to get out and it was packed, like packed. There was hundreds of people there. So, and that was us on our way out. The, it was almost time for closing. Like they weren't letting any more people in. So, it, like it was so busy. So, as everyone always says, get up early, miss the crowds. I mean, I don't know how many times people say this because, like, realistically, there now should be really it should be crowded in the morning, but uh, it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. <clears throat> it, was, it was honestly it was insane so yeah our tour guide there was he was really nice um like it, he was really informative he did offer to like take us on other two, like routes as well um but we just stuck with the main one and we're like we'll do the main bit first and then once we're finished that we'll see how we feel um so yeah, we after the two hours after we finished the main trail um he left and we continued up to the top <laughs> uh, to the monastery which was also stunning like I had no idea what it was going to be but it was also like a big beautiful carving like it was it was so stunning um, and we walked further we got to, like he told us like if we go there just keep walking past it if you just keep walking straight there's like another couple of paths that will take you to kind of like the edge and you've got a stunning view over all the different um places um so there's loads of different villages and towns um and you just see loads of mountains and it's it's honestly it was so nice it was so nice and there was a wee puppy uh that we gave it some water um and it was following us around okay you need to take it home um but yeah it was it was really nice um but it was it wasn't even i got sunburned and it wasn't even that hot like i think it got up to 13 or 15 degrees like it wasn't hot but there was no shade like the sun was just beaming on you um <clears throat> so yeah my face got burnt and we were dying walking up people just kept saying oh not not long to go not long to go and i hate when people say that because they lie <laughs> it's the same like in scotland like if you go hill walking um because obviously that's like one of the biggest things to do in scotland walking up a munro or up a, or even just a normal hill you see people and go oh you're almost there not long just a couple minutes and then it's like 10 minutes and you're like what was this guy talking about <laughs> like we've been walking for ages why are we not here yet but it's so worth it when you get to the top um uh, so going down so much easier um but yeah so i highly recommend going up to the monastery but as i said there's so many walks like we done the main trail we went up to the monastery and came back and then from the main trail again we then went up and done I don't know, like we went to the ancient tombs. I don't, I can't remember if it's got an, a name. I'm going to have to find out because I can't find this map. Um, but there's like loads of other, um, well, tombs carved into the walls and it's like a, it's a little walkway around there, um, which finishes just uh, before the treasury again. So we done that and then just walked back to the treasury and headed out. But the tombs, all of them are really nice, but there was, like there was so many other paths like you could have done like you could have went up to like a sacrifice point um you could have went there was another trail that took you up 
round the other side of the treasury and up at the top, like so you can view down onto the treasury. Um, which apparently doesn't take long, but as I said, we just wanted to do the main trail with the guide and then just see how we felt after. And um, that was the two he said was the best, like he would recommend doing would be the monastery and the tombs. So we done them. We did contemplate going up to the sacrifice point, but it was up another huge hill and we were dead by this point. We're like, no, it's okay. <laughs> we just have to come back another time. Um, but as well, so I don't know if anyone will have seen um, online, there is a viewpoint at the treasury that you have to climb up some little bit to get to. Like they've got like a little blanket and stuff laid out. I don't know what's there because we didn't go up. Um, our tour guide in Petra um, said everything's fine. Like obviously they take you up, you just give them a tip. Um, and they'll take some nice photos, it's a nice view. And then there's another second viewpoint. But uh, our tour guide Mahmood, before we went in, he was like, it's up to you. I'm just giving you some, some advice. I wouldn't go up to the viewpoints that they tell you about because the trails can be a bit sketchy. Um, so we just decided to leave it. Um, he also, like, you will also get offered a lot of camel and donkey and horse ride and stuff. Uh, the horse there is actually a horse ride included in your package from like the visitor center down towards like the actual main path uh towards the main trail and um, we didn't go on it for our own choices obviously everyone's own decision i also am a bit scared of horses so <laughs> i wasn't here for it so we didn't personal choice it's up to everyone but also you will get offered to get a ride up to like the monastery where we said, which is up uphill, like and up loads of rocks and stuff. Just watching people, like the locals and stuff on these animals gave me the fear. Like one of the one of the donkeys, it was so sad, actually like fell over and I just thought, oh my god, like I would have had a heart attack. Um so our mood, our, our ever mood, <laughs> our tour guide mood, also told us like, again up to you. But I wouldn't recommend getting any sort of animal ride to the top of any trail because it's a bit sketchy. And having walked the trail, I would agree that yes, it is a bit sketchy. I would not recommend doing it. But again, everyone's own choices. If if you want to take a camel or a donkey, I don't think did, I don't actually think the two camels to the top. I think it was just donkeys and horses. I can't remember. Um, that's all I seen up there. But yeah, if you want to go ahead, I'm I'm not trying to tell anyone what they should and should not be doing. But our guide for the whole of Jordan said would not recommend. Yeah, I was taking his advice. Yeah, Pedro was stunning. Um, that's all I can say honestly. Like it was just unreal like completely unreal like couldn't recommend it more like obviously it is one of the new seven wonders for a reason but honestly like if that hadn't convinced you to go you should go it is definitely worth it like as i said like we done a pre-planned tour but if we were able to go back probably we'd spend another in like a couple of days there instead um if you really want to explore the whole place because there is so many different trails uh, that you can you can do. We stopped off and had a drink and some to eat in the restaurant as well before we left. And then we got taken back to our hotel for the night. I um, had some tea and went to sleep uh, because the next day on the Friday, which was my birthday, um, turned 23 in case anyone's interested. Um, yeah, so it was my birthday and we were going to, we were moving hotel again, um, but we were going to Wadi Rum for the day. Um, now, we done an extra add-on here, so the tour was only, it was only meant to be a two-hour jeep tour, but we could upgrade, we got the offer to upgrade to a four-hour jeep tour with um, your lunch, dinner uh, included. So we done that, obviously, because... Who doesn't want to have their dinner in the bloody desert like that's so cool <laughs> so we done that um 
we headed out for the day, it was unreal. Um, I didn't know this, again, no research. Um, the Martian was filmed at Wadi Rum, so we got a picture taken, like the Martian, I will put in, because it was so cool. I was like, oh, oh my God. Um, and you can totally understand why, like, the colours, like, the, the the hills, the mountains, the rocks, like, everything was just, it was just mind-blowing. Like, and it was so quiet and peaceful, like, everything echoed. It was, it was just really cool. It was so cool. <laughs> um, but it was, like, it was, it was hot when we weren't moving, obviously driving from the back of the jeep. It was a bit breezy. Like, my ears got a bit sore. Um... And I didn't have a jacket with me, um, but like I had a long sleeve on underneath my dress, um, and that was it. So uh, the tour guide there actually gave me a jacket to wear, which was really nice. Of them. Um, but it was honest, again mind blown. Like I, I saw that we were going to be doing a jeep tour in the desert, which I thought would be, which I just thought was going to be cool anyway. But I didn't know what to expect. I've never been anywhere like that, and it was mind blown. It was. Oh my god. And the dinner, um, or lunch, whatever you want to call it, um, was beautiful. So the, the our tour guide, it was his wife had made everything. Um, so we had some rice, we had some chicken, um, we had a wee salad. Well, they had a salad, I did not eat the salad. I do not like salad. Um, we had this little, we had like yogurt, we had uh, <coughs> bread. And we had a little pudding, which I don't know what it was, but it was it was really good. Um, so yeah, it was all locally made by his well, like his wife, and like it was all marinated, and he cooked it on a little fire that he started himself. Uh, we had some some uh, tea. It was the tea was beautiful, like obviously stereotype the UK loves a good cup of tea. This tea was insane. <laughs> It was so good. Um, it was just in a like a little cute wee cup, a wee glass, um, like a wee shot glass. Obviously, you just drink it like black. It had loads of different herbs and stuff, and I can't remember what he said was in it. Um, but it was, oh, it was so nice as well. Like the whole the whole thing was just really special. Um, yeah, it was it was amazing. Like a hundred and ten percent would recommend anyone to do it. Like. Yeah, you know I mean a four hour trip is not that long. There's lo like there's loads of things to see and also like oh, I was like, oh so what animals are here? And they're like oh so you get snakes and stuff. Um well, so we saw some people with camels, um, obviously. We also saw a camel walking down the side of the road, which was pretty weird, like on the way there. <laughs> um but yeah, and when he said there were snakes, I was like, Oh my god, how cool would it be to see a snake? And I can't remember how long Mahmood said he's been doing this, but it's been a lot of years and he's like, and I've never seen a snake. And we did not see a snake, but I was like, praying, I was like, please let me see a snake. Like this, this would just be, like already the coolest birthday of my life. But if I saw a snake right now, it would just top everything off, like, but we didn't see one. Um, so if he's, if anyone has been and has seen a snake or if you go and see a snake, I'm, I'm very jealous because that would have been, too cool, too cool. Um, so yeah, so we toured about there. Obviously, got driven around and came back. Um, and then the day wasn't over. Like four hour tour, that seems quite good. But no, we had we drove down to Aqaba for the night. Um, which has got the Red Sea. Um, and me just not really thinking. Obviously, when you say the Red Sea, I don't know if it's just me. But I think of Egypt, like I know it connects to other places. I've never really thought about it before because the main place people talk about when they talk about the Red Sea is Egypt. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't bring my mask and snorkel. I was fuming <laughs> uh, because I didn't know that's where it was. <laughs> I was like, because I knew we were going to the Dead Sea. But there's nothing, there's nothing there. So I like, and you know what I mean? Something in me was like, just take it and I went, but what's the point? It's just going to take up space. And then I went, what? Because he's like, yeah, it's really good for like snorkeling and diving and stuff. Um, but we're only there for the one night. We left early the next morning. He did say we could leave a bit later if we wanted to do anything like that. But to book it that last minute, like, 
it would have been too much. So that was sad. But I'll just need to go back. Um, and Craig's not a big fan of the ocean anyway, so I need to go do that with somebody else. Um, so yeah, we drove down to Aqaba, and it was only it was only like four o'clock in the afternoon or something. Just no, it was just before four, so about half three. And he was like, like if he's wanted, um, we could go do a boat tour, like a wee boat tour, um, in the Red Sea. So we done that. It was like a open, what's it called, like a glass bottom boat ride. So we done that, which was really nice. Um, cause uh, yeah, we ended up booking that for a four, and this like the sun was starting to set and stuff. So it was, it was just really nice. It was really quiet. Um, there was a tank in the ocean, which was. Mental, I didn't think I was going to get tagged in the bottom of the ocean. And loads of corals, also saw many sea urchins, which are. I hate them. Um, I have stepped on one, which is a story for another time. So I don't like them. And I was like, do you know what I mean? I was just looking like, oh, look at them. Uh, fuming. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was really nice. Um, it was a really nice way to end the day. Um, so yeah, we've done a wee boat ride and it turned out the president of uh, Jordan was in Aqaba as well because there was a like a police boat, like a few of them with like huge guns on the front of them. We're <laughs> like, what's going on here? <laughs> and yeah, it turned out the president was staying. Um, so that was, that was cool. That was a cool fact to know. But yeah, I was like, why is there a guy with a huge gun here? Um, <clears throat> but you, like you could see over to, um, to Israel and stuff as well. So it was, it was really nice. Um, it was cheap, I can't, I can't remember how much it was, but it was cheap anyway. Um, and do you know what I mean? It was just, just a nice, wee, peaceful way to end the day. Um, so then we went to our hotel for the night, like just went and got some food. And then we were up bright and breezy to go up to the Dead Sea on the Saturday. It's called the Dead Sea, Dead Sea Spa and Hotel. Um, and oh, oh, it was a really nice hotel, but again, we were just there for the one night because this was the Saturday by this point and we were leaving on Sunday morning. Our hotel, you could just walk straight onto it. So we went for a wee swim in the Dead Sea, which was really cool. Well, not a swim, a wee float in the Dead Sea, which is cool. It was probably, it was nice for Craig to finally know what it's like to float because he, he can't float, which blows my mind. Who can't float? Like, I'm sorry to all anyone that's watching who can't float, but like, what the hell? <laughs> I just thought everyone could float, but apparently not. Craig cannot. Um, so we got to float in the Dead Sea, which was uh, it was really cool. It was weird. Um, like it, it felt weird on your skin. Like it was nice, but like I don't know. It can you felt oily? Um, which my mum dad told us it, it did. It was going to feel oily, and I didn't really know what he meant. But yeah, it's obviously like the salt level's so high compared to like everywhere else. But yeah, it feels. Yeah, it f like it feels oily on your skin. It's, it's really weird. Um, and then we got out and just had a wee walk around to another bit of it. Like we didn't get back in again. We just walked around and to see like all the salt like stacked up, like and that it was it was weird. It was it was so cool, but it was so weird at the same time. Um, and then I was gutted because I'd already got out. I was dry by this point, and like at a lot of places they've got like the mud that you can like cake yourself in and then go rinse off like you meant to go in the water, come out, put it on and then go back in again um, and there wasn't any and I wasn't going to just pick up mud on the ground and rub it on myself uh, <laughs> so it wasn't until we were walking back from having a wee walk around I went oh look there's buckets of mud there but um, I was out about this point and it, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a very nice day because um, we've been really lucky with the weather um, so before the week before we got into Jordan, or like two weeks before, in that sort of time frame, they'd had really bad snow um, and a lot of bad storms. And then we were there and it was really sunny. And then on the Saturday, it was pretty cold. And on the Sunday morning, it was really foggy. Um, and our driver, Mahmoud, had showed us like on Facebook, he'd sent us links to like the road that we had just driven on. Like, uh, what did he call it? Like the desert highway um, was covered in snow. And like we'd just been on the been on the, been on it the day before, and it was scorching. So yeah, we had we were really lucky with the weather because like our last two day, like our last full day was a bit crap, um, and we're leaving first thing Sunday morning, and then they got really bad weather again. Um, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a very nice day. It was pretty cold. It was pretty dull. 
it had been raining but i was like like we're here we're go we're obviously going in the water still so but yeah it was a bit it was a bit cold so we didn't go back in and do the mud but i guess we can go back we didn't we didn't see all the petra we didn't see oh, there's apparently loads of other cool things to go do so so yeah so we went saw and dead sea came back got showered um and then uh had tea and went to the bar for a couple so the other way around went to the bar for a couple then went and had tea um and then we just had to go back and get ready to fly home the next morning sadly i was i was actually really quite emotional um on the sunday about having to leave because we just had such a like it was such an it was just like we just had such a nice time like and it was just such a special place like when people said like if you could go anywhere like where's like some of the top places like the, the top of my list is like i want to go to the middle east like i really 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 want to go to the middle east to have finally went like after it like you know what i mean just building up how much i wanted to go like it was just it was just really special it was just and it was just like a random last minute thing like well not last minute thing sorry we booked it like in like November or something um but it was random like uh well so I was like well, like my birthday lands on a Friday this year so we'll maybe just like take the Friday Monday off um go somewhere that will still be kind of warm like I was like I've not been to Portugal like we go Portugal and then I started looking into it um and found this tour for Jordan and it was like a four day thing I looked at to start off with. I went no point cramming it Craig there's one that's eight days like a week so let's do it <laughs> and uh so yeah we booked it it was it was it was random everyone said how the hell did you get portugal to jordan and i'm like i don't know it's just it's just how my brain works and i'm so glad we did craig's so glad we did he had a really good time as well um yeah it was it was insane it's convinced quite a few people to go um or at least add it onto the list as a, an idea um, to go. But yeah, it was to finally, like, I, I still want to go to more places in the Middle East, but to have finally said, like, I've been to one Middle Eastern country, like, is high bucket list tick off. So, um, so yeah, it was really good. Um, so yeah, you can, you can probably tell by watching this, like, how happy it makes me. Um, I'm just so glad that we got to go and experience it. Um, I'm grateful as well, like with like all the restrictions that were on for travel at the time that we still managed to go because like it was got closer to it and we're like, oh my God, Jordan's on the red list for Germany. Like what's the script here? But we didn't have to isolate or anything when we came back. We didn't need to do tests for getting back into Germany. So it was quite, it was, it was fine. It went quite easily, quite smoothly. So, so yeah. Um, so after watching this, I hope I have, convince some people to add Jordan onto the list because it's a place that you don't want to miss out on um and yeah thanks for sticking around for um my video um if you please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more um I also have my instagram that linked in the bio if anyone wants to come and see what I do on like well not the daily basis um because it's where I work but um See what I get up to in life in Germany. See if I go anywhere else. What else I've got planned. Um, yeah. So if you want to see anything. And I, I might start putting in like polls and things. And like what people want to see videos on. So if you want to see any of that. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching.